The only problem is that it's purple and Sean Combs is not purple. Hey, this is Dave from Bay Stencil. I see a lot of stencils come through Bay Stencil and most of them are really, really good. Every once in a while I see a stencil and I think to myself, like this stencil does not look like the person thinks it's gonna look. Sometimes it could have too much detail or sometimes it's got not enough detail. And I'll show you what I mean. So uh, I looked for this uh, photo of Sean Combs, better known as P. Diddy, and I see that he's um, got uh, he, uh, the detail here. He's got some facial hair, he's got a mustache, he's smiling, he, his eyes, he obviously has a good, uh, good mood. Um, and I want to find one, I want to find a stencil that captures all of that, captures all that expression. So what I did is I cropped this image way down, hoping to capture as much detail as possible. And you see in this one, I captured quite a bit of detail. Uh, when I got the email back from that one or from a similar one, I said, okay, that looks good. It looks good on the background and um, I, kn I know I can paint this. But, um, but when you really zoom in and look at it, it's actually got a lot of detail that we don't need. It's got a lot of extraneous bumps and uh, movement in it that actually don't convey any information. Um, so you might look at this one and say, well, this one's a little bit better because it's got a little bit less bumpiness to it and it's actually got one fewer color in it. Um, this one also looks a little bit better um, and this one also looks good. The only problem with this one is that we can't tell what's happening with his mouth. We can't tell if his tongue is out or if he's smiling or what. And uh, the same is true for these down here. Now it's a little bit counterintuitive, but what I actually did next was I uploaded the picture again and I cropped it, but I cropped it wider. And you'll see what happened here. Um, I still have uh, this one, which is, has the most detail, and it still has a few of those things about it that I don't like. Like it's got too much, too much detail, too much raggediness going on here. I want these, I want the edges of this forehead to be uh, more rounded because obviously he doesn't have a. Um, uh, bunch of crooked lines happening in his forehead here so um, and I actually like this one too I like this one a lot uh, the only thing with this one is that I don't quite get that expression in his eyes that's in the original picture I don't quite get this uh, feeling of uh, the happiness in the eyes I'm not really sure what his expression is here so um, I think I might actually like this one the best and when I look at it I see, okay, I've got the expression in the eyes, I've got the mustache, I've got the beard, i got everything, and um, the only problem is that it's purple, and Sean Combs is not purple. Uh, I'm going to work around that, and I'm going to show you how in, uh, in a sample of spraying. Before we do that, I want to look at another stencil, and um, so for, for this Sean Combs example, I think we wanted to actually get less detail in the face to get, come up with a stencil that actually looks better and uh, represents him better and it's got some more details in it that I think are, are right for him um, but here's another example so in this one um, I see there are some uh, some text here and when there's text you really should be able to read all the text and maybe you look at this and because you know Semper Fi is the motto of the US Marines you don't feel like you need to read United States Marines but I guarantee you that if you get this stencil in the mail and paint it and you can't read United States Marines in there or worse it looks like it says something else you're not going to be happy so you really want to make sure that these uh, stencils have the right um, uh, the right words in them. You might have looked at this one, for example, and thought to yourself, okay, the color matches, the color of this red matches better the marine red that I want. But uh, newsflash, the stencil actually doesn't have the color in it. The paint has the color in it. So what you really want is not to aim for the right color in here, is you want to aim for the right resolution of this text. So I look at this one and I say, okay, this actually has the better resolution in the text. I can actually read all the words and all the letters of United States Marines in here. Um, so this is actually the one I want. I'm going to test paint both of those examples uh, and show you and I think um, you'll see that the one where I can actually read the words is the one that I want.